Now I'd like to introduce scholarship sponsor, Bill Hyman. I recently had the pleasure of meeting Bill and his wife, Sarah, in New York, and I'm delighted that Bill is able to speak to us this evening. Bill came to Olin after receiving his undergraduate degree in architecture from Yale. He graduated top of his MBA class in 1983, and he was a participant in the Scholars in Business program. Bill is now a senior managing director of Hunt Mortgage Group, a division of the Hunt Companies. Hunt is one of the nation's largest owners and managers of multifamily rental housing. Hunt Mortgage Group specializes in providing a wide range of financing programs to developers and owners of multifamily housing with a loan portfolio currently in excess of $15 billion. Bill is responsible for agency relationship management, strategic technology and training initiatives. He previously ran the firm's national loan production operations with production in offices over a dozen cities. He has been with the firm since 1988 in a variety of roles including production, credit, asset management and loan pricing, all of which have been instrumental in expanding the business. Bill has also served on a number of industry panels, including the Freddie Mac Production Advisory Council, and he is presently the chair of the Fannie Mae Delegated Underwriting Servicing Advisory Council, advising the Fannie Mae Multifamily Division on a variety of strategic and regulatory matters. He has been a loyal Olin ambassador for many years, and we are grateful for Bill's generous commitment to scholarships. We're pleased to have Bill with us here from New York this evening. Please welcome him. Uh, this is the, uh, I, most of the time when I'm speaking, it's usually to a group of um, you know, industry executives. So um, if I slip into uh, remarks around mortgages, basis points, and housing policy, uh, don't be surprised. I, mean, that's, I just sometimes can't help it, but I'll try to stick to the script. But uh, Mark, thank you very much for inviting me to speak, to speak this, after, uh, this afternoon. You know, I'm honored. Uh, to speak to everyone today and provide some brief remarks. Um, but before I start, I do want to thank, uh, uh, in addition to you know, Dean Taylor and Chancellor Wrighton for inviting me, I would like to acknowledge two previous deans who were really instrumental in forging my ties to uh, Olin and Washington University, uh, Bob Virgil, who I know can't be with us this evening, and, and Mahendra Gupta. Uh, Bob for admitting me to Olin to begin with. Uh, <laughs> and Mahendra for his encouragement and, adv and advice about careers and how to build the Olin brand uh, in the New York area. Uh, uh, Mahendra, I don't know where you're saying, I've got the green tie on, you know, I, you know so I wear, the, wear that proudly. I, I would also like to acknowledge uh, Nancy Barter, uh, who's been a friend of ours for many years, and my wife Sarah was not able to uh, join, us this, uh, join us today, but she sends her regards to Nancy and the whole Olin uh, family. Um, before I talk a little bit about scholars in business, I just want to mention that recently Bob Virgil and I uh, had a chance to spend some time together in New York. We got into a discussion about, uh, a philosophical discussion about housing finance policy um, and the role of government, you know, the role of the government plays with the, with the government sponsored enterprises, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Uh, we began having a spirited conversation. Uh, then I realized I didn't really have the data to support my argument. So I said to myself, well, I'm going to come back to Washington University and I need to do some data. I'm, I need to collect some data so that the next time Bob and I chat, I'm better able to defend my position. Uh, so when I see some of you this evening over dinner, I may be doing some poll taking to see if I can gather a few data points for my next uh, session with Bob. He always taught me about you know, the importance of data. It's very, very important. But anyway, let, let me share a few thoughts with you about tonight's dinner and scholarship support in general. Um, you know, first, this is a unique and special opportunity. You know, there are very few educational institutions that give alumni donors the opportunity to meet scholarship students the way we have the honor to do tonight. You really can't underestimate the power of an evening like this to create new friendships, strengthen ties, 
and see firsthand how our school is preparing the next generation of business leaders. Um, I, I think this is maybe the third year that I've been able to come to the Scholars in Business dinner, and it's really motiv it personally motivated me to, um, you know, take take a leadership role with, uh, you know, creating my company's you know internship program, and I'm really you know hoping that uh, go, you know going forward we'll be able to recruit some 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 folks from from Washington from the Owen School to come to New York and spend spend the summer you know in our real estate internship program. Second, secondly, an evening like this provides a chance for a little self-reflection about one's own experiences and how Olin scholarship support you know, made a difference to me. Uh, for me, attending Olin was the result of deciding to pursue studies in graduate architecture and business in a combined master's program. Um, I majored, as, as Mark said, I, I majored in architecture as an undergraduate. I took a gap year and was undecided at the end of a gap year about my direction. I continued to be interested in architecture, but I also believed strongly that I should broaden my business uh, skill set. I had some vague ideas about uh, pursuing a career in real estate development at the time uh, where I thought I would need that combined skill set. So I sought out combined master's programs. So not only does that mean you know, two separate applications and getting into two schools separately, but it also meant at least two extra years in graduate school and a lot more borrowing with student loans potentially. And that would be in addition to the student loan debt that I had taken on in college. But Olin stepped up with very generous scholarship support and frankly that made all the difference in my decision to move to St. Louis in the summer of 1981 to commence my studies. After completing the first year of the program in the MBA, in the MBA school, um, I commenced the first year in the architecture program and then I discovered halfway through that year that architecture was not for me. So um, I had a, there were some dramatic calls with my parents when I told them that I was not continuing with that part of my studies, but I returned to the MBA program after a semester detour and completed my degree in the winter of 1983. Uh, big picture, I mean, my career would not be what it is today, you know, without the support of Olin. Uh, Olin took a chance on me when I was an architecture student with a very vague idea about, you know, getting a business education. I think back then, I don't think I knew what a mortgage was, but so, I mean, really, I was, you know, I was an art, one of those arts students and I really, you know, accounting, finance, marketing, I didn't know anything about any of that. Um, but I discovered myself at Olin and I suspect that, you know, you know many of my, of my fellow alumni in the audience, you know, you know, share some of those, you know, similar, similar thoughts. Uh, during my time at Olin, I formed some lifelong friendships, learned a lot of lessons about leadership and realized that I had a passion for the finance side of, the, of business. I took class, I think one of the key influences was taking a finance class with Jesse Owitz. And I had internships at the Jefferson Smurfett Company in Alton, Illinois, and at Continental Bank in Chicago. And I was honored to be a graduate TA during my last year at Olin. So this, this all led me to a career in public finance and then ultimately to commercial real estate investment, which, which continues to this day. Uh, in the past few years, uh, my family's ties with Olin have deepened. Uh, Mahendra and Nancy were generous with their advice to my children about their college choices. And the Olin community in New York has provided some terrific networking opportunities for me, for me professionally. Uh, most recently, in fact today, I was meeting with one of my classmates, Tim Hostler, from the class of 83, and we were negotiating a joint venture arrangement for our firms to work together. Literally, that was about five hours ago. Um, I'm hoping in the not too distant future to share what I've learned about real estate and housing policy and you know, with Olin students and graduates, you know, perhaps whether it's here um, hosting a seminar or maybe doing some kind of forum or panel you know, in New York, you know, something I'd like to do in that way to, you know, maybe kind of give, you know, give back more, not only in terms of scholarship contributions, but you know, sharing what I've learned with, you know, with folks who are attending Olin today. So in closing, let me just say that I don't think, I don't think my story is that unique. Um, you know, many of the alumni attending this evening can recall their personal connections to Olin and that, that motivate you know, their collective will and our collective will to support scholarship. You know, we've collectively, collectively, we've built tremendous momentum and let's continue to build on it. And I think I'd say to just ask to all the students attending this evening's dinner, you know, cherish the relationships you discover and develop at these dinners. Uh, they should serve you well. 
So on behalf of my family, thanks again for inviting me to share these thoughts today, and have a great evening. Thank you for sharing those thoughts with us, Bill, and thank you again for coming in from New York.